Hey, good morning guys. We got the 2018 Santa Cruz Nomad out with us today. Got my buddy Zach on a 2017 Santa Cruz Nomad N3. We're gonna do a little head-to-head -head comparison today and see if the changes they made to this new suspension and reach and everything else that they changed on this Nomad was worth it. So Zach's up there riding my 2017 N3 Nomad. And just after the little bit of climbing I've spent on the new one, this N4, man, I can definitely tell the reach is a little bit longer. Uh, not, not terrible. I'm five foot eight on a medium. Both these bikes are mediums today. And uh, reach feels a little longer. Climbing feels, geez, about the same. It's tough to say until you get, you know, two, three thousand vertical feet in your legs, but um, feels pretty good otherwise. Man, that new shock is just so different, man. I'm really excited to see how this feels going down. The idea between this is, uh, on this new shock is, it's supposed to feel a lot more linear, so kind of feel the same all the way through the whole suspension uh, when descending. One thing on that old Nomad, the N3, it's been around for years, is it ramps up a little a little more and and sometimes I mean if I had a complaint about that old Nomad It would be the mid stroke. It kind of just For me anyway, it kind of plowed through the mid stroke real fast And, and, uh, and then ramp up kind of hard at the end So I'm really excited to see the difference between these two My name is Jason and uh, we do we do mountain bike reviews and uh, You know, we're really gonna start doing more of these head-to-head -head videos take an old generation and compare it to a new generation bike or or even uh, across the manufacturers you know grab a high tower from Santa Cruz and a switchblade from pivot do a head-to-head -head video so hope you guys enjoy this head-to-head -head. Uh, if you like it subscribe stick around we'll have lots more head-to-head -head videos coming out soon and uh, hit the like button that's how people find me faster on YouTube so those of you guys have been around for a while thank you thanks for your support guys it means a lot one thing I noticed on this new Nomad N4 is I definitely like climbing with that rear shock in the uh, closed position better than the open position. And uh, on my N3, man, I feel like it didn't make that big of a difference. Um, but definitely I, I like climbing in the, in the climbing position on that rear shock on this new N4. Okay, Zach and I just got to the top. And uh, another thing I wanted to point out, it's not a huge issue, but um, on the old Nomad N3, the water bottle cage is way down here. It's really hard to access when, uh, when that pedal on the drive side, on the non-drive side is up. It's really hard to get your water bottle out. Not a huge deal, but you notice it. And then on this new Nomad, um, you can access your water bottle at any time uh, when you're climbing, you know, it's it's really easy to, to pull out of there. Not a big deal, but just because the, the way that rear shock is situated on this new model puts that water bottle holder a little higher. So for the guys that, that carry the water in the on the bike, uh, that's one thing I noticed I actually like a ton better already. Um, I always carried my water bottle on my bike. So... You notice the limitation in size of bottle on this one? Yeah, that's another thing. You can only carry 21 ounces on that bike and on the new bike you can carry a full size yeah 24 25 ounce that's a good point okay nomad n4 descending down jacobs oh man that feels really good oh. man i like that rear shock better than the n3 it feels a little poppier actually Man, just so composed in all this stuff. <laughs> oh man, just getting down off Jacob's Ladder on that N4 was pretty rad, guys. It's definitely, there's no doubt about it, the, the N4 descends differently and I think better than the N3. I'll be interested to see what Zach thinks here in a minute. But uh, in climbing, I'd say they climb about the same. 
I wouldn't say that one climbs better than the other. They climb about the same. And frankly, this N3, the old body style here, I've got shorter bars. I got 760 mil bars. That new bike's got 800. And for me, I'm only five foot eight. That's a bit of a reach for me. So I feel a little more comfortable on this bike. Plus it's my bike, I'm just more comfortable on it, but there's no doubt that new N4 just made easy, easy work of Jacob's Ladder. And it just still kept a lot of the characteristics that I feel like I lose on this Nomad. Uh, the N3 sometimes wallows through the mid stroke a little bit. That new N4, man, it's just so poppy and good the whole time. And, never even hit the bottom on any of that stuff it was awesome i really liked that okay zach's on the n4 now that thing was fun coming down jacobs let's see how the n3 keeps up oh that's good oh <laughs> whoops Nice, Zach. Well, for me, there's no doubt the N4 feels like the bigger bike. They're, they're, both, they're both so good. I would say that the N4 shock, that rear shock, is way more supportive. The N3, I just blow through that mid stroke so quick. There we go. <laughs> Oh man, that's fun. Oh, dude. What's the verdict? Yeah, I felt more composed on this bike. I'd say the, the rear shock is just, I was trying to describe it. It's, it's just more supportive almost. I, it, yeah, it doesn't blow through the mid stroke. Right. I think that's a good way to say it. I felt like on this bike, you can make a bad choice and it just doesn't matter. I, I think, uh, I don't know, man, for dudes who have an N3 right now, I mean, would you say it's worth selling to, to get the new bike if you love your N3? I feel like if you could get your money's worth out of your, your N3 to go for the N4, yeah, I think it's worth it, but I mean, it's got to make sense for you. In fact, if I had to put, uh, you know, a, a deciding factor on which one climbs better, I'd say they're the same, but, but maybe for me, the N3, but also I'm more familiar with this bike, you know? For me, being 5'10 and being in between a medium and a large usually, this feels perfect in a medium. Yeah, that's actually good to hear. I'm 5'8". I feel a little bit more comfortable on a medium N3. Zach, you're 5'10"? Yeah, 5'10". And, and you'd pick in I, terms of I fit? I'd do a fit with the N4 on a medium. And yeah. you wouldn't go large? I'd go large on the N3. On this, I'd go medium. Interesting. Me and Jason were talking. I think we both think and feel like through those really deep compressions, this N4 feels much better. Um, and then through kind of the rocky gardens, you know, where the, it's kind of repeated bigger hits, this bike just stays composed a lot better than the N3. Um, and that's, that's saying something because the N3 feels great through that stuff still. So I think if that's what you're looking for, I think going with the N4 is worth selling your N3. Yeah, I, I, I couldn't have said it better myself. Yeah, just from our previous conversation, that's exactly... That's exactly how I feel. That that it just is so supportive through every single different speed and different hit. Whereas uh this I never bought him out my N3, I don't feel like, but it just sometimes feels like it's there's nothing in between that small bump and then the actual ramp up toward the end. Right. I guess is the the best way to describe it. So I think the N4, what I would say is it's just the suspension feels predictable. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what it's gonna do no matter what. Well, I hope you guys liked our little head-to-head -head comparison on the uh, N3 and the N4. Man, it's, uh, it's a lot of bike. Yeah, and that's another thing Zach and I were just talking about is uh, I had read so much on the internet about this new Santa Cruz Nomad being a huge bike, really big, bigger than the Firebird, the Pivot Firebird. And it's not. It really isn't. It's, it's bigger than this N3 in that it's more composed going downhill and it just feels like a little bit longer bigger bike but you know, it's not a it's not a downhill bike you know 
it, it, it's suited for that type of terrain, but it's not like a dual crown fork downhill bike. So anyway, hope you guys liked it. Thanks for watching. Oh, 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 oh,